Well, as the tension between Ukraine and Russia continues, many British people have been helping Ukrainian refugees fleeing their homes. Well, across Britain, people have been donating everything from money to clothes. People are volunteering as well. So many good people out mm. there. We thank you for all of this. And uh, so many local charities involved. And we're going to go to our reporter, Anna Riley. Uh, she's at a church in Hull. And Anna, tell us what they are donating or what is going on or who's involved in, in all of this. Good morning. Good morning, Eamon and Isabel. Yes, I'm here at the Living Hope Church in Hull. There's an appeal being set up by a Facebook group. It started out as called Hull for Ukraine, and it comes as there's over 600,000 refugees now that have fled Ukraine, according to the UN. And the European Union is saying there could be up to 4 million people fleeing the country. They're going to neighbouring places like Poland and Romania. But these people are leaving with little more than just the clothes on their back and the possessions that they can carry. So community groups like this one here are getting together, asking the public to donate those essential items that you need in day-to-day -day life. Your toiletries, nappies if you've got children, blankets to stay warm in the cold conditions they've got in those countries, and clothes and dry food as well. And this group has, has just been amazing, the response. I was here yesterday and there were hundreds of bags of donations and the volunteers giving up their time as well, packaging up the items to get them sent off to the countries. Poland in particular is the first place that they're sending these items to. And I spoke to Magda Moses, she's the lead volunteer at the group Hull for Ukraine and this is what she had to say. I mean, I always believed in Hull people and they've got big hearts and they share love with everybody. So I am overwhelmed by the response from the community and this is just so international response. It's not just Polish, Romanians or something. Every single probably nationality that lives and represents our city came to support. I don't want to talk about politics, it just hurts me as a human being, as a mother, as a friend. I've got family and friends in Ukraine. I was brought up only 150 kilometers away from the border. Uh, and, uh, you know, no war is good. No war is good. And when you see uh, people fleeing the countries with one bag, little children walking for thousands of miles, um, you know, we just, we know we need to help. I mean, if you at the um, doorstep of the of the military um, situation like this, of course you'll be worried. And uh, like we say, this is just the beginning. Where it's going to take us, Ukraine, and the whole Europe, we don't really know. He's got two children. Same. Some really touching words there from, from Magda and just a phenomenal response from the community. This appeal is going on for two weeks for now and what Magda's also asking for is help with transport to get these goods across to Poland. So she's asking if anyone's watching that can provide transport, their group is called Hull for Ukraine on Facebook and she'd really appreciate any help. Anna, there will be because there are so many good people. Um, somebody somewhere, they'll have a lorry, they'll, have a, they'll be able to provide that transport that you're looking for and all the good things that people have donated. Goodness me. Thank you very much indeed, Anna Riley there. Um, if you are organising something in terms of aid and support for refugees uh, and all those people who are displaced, please do Yeah, we want to hear all of those stories. And I have to say, we've been covering this tomorrow. It will have been a week uh, since war broke out. And aside from the shock and the horror that we're seeing in Ukraine, there's also been in stark contrast, those really uplifting, positive mm -hmm. stories of humanity, people being um, welcoming, generous. And we want to tell those stories as well. So whatever you are doing, however small, let us know. Uh, get in touch, gbviews at gbnews.uk or at gbnews.